how to resize text and shape at the same time in PowerPoint. So as you can see when you click on when you add a text. So you want some text and a shape and text and shape. And then here I write uh, As you can see now I'm trying to all select hold shift shape and text I want to resize uh, the text will not change its size only the shape so to fix this problem it's a good practice to let's select this text copy this text and delete and it's a good practice what I learned maybe there's other methods I'm not a professional but I found that if I actually add this text inside this uh, shape, so you just don't have to add the text, uh, this text box, you just added the, 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 the shape. But then if you click there, you can add text inside the shape. And then from there, you can click on text options. And here, you can change the text. Um, you want to resize the text, uh, will resize as well. As you can see um, now we can add more text but uh, here is important now there's more text than this shape so may, to fix this make sure you click on shrink text on overlay and now uh, what you can do now is let's say you could right click and here you can do a couple of things so first thing that you can do well one thing that you can do is actually to really achieve this goal one you resize it will resize the shape as the text as well and is to if you add actually the text box as well and let's here add just one and now I will add this text here so you have to select this shape and text then you click on shape format and you select a uh, fragment and now you can press on your keyboard control plus G and this will actually create a group now if you resize you can of course um, the text will resize as well but uh, yeah that's uh, one thing that you can do and if you have Let's say you have a lot of text here. So if you know other method, uh, let me know in the comment section. I really like to read your thoughts. Let's say we have a lot of text like this. I mean, not like really like this, but let's say you have a lot of text and you like to add, and I'm just gonna select to a rectangle. Well, you can apply the same method, but uh, there is a disadvantage, and I'm gonna show you in a second. Sorry, not this one, it's this one. And now this is fragmented, but uh, yeah, now you have a bunch of text that you can't edit. But, you know, maybe is this is what you want, and that's this solution. I don't know, you tell me if you know other solutions, but I know this one. And Control G to group. Now we have this text that looks like this so i hope you found this helpful thank you for watching